All right, guys, how's it going? So there's one thing I love about the Blender community. They're pretty damn knowledgeable. Much more intelligent than I will ever be. <laughs> so I'd made an add-on review called Copy Object to Selected. Pretty damn good add-on in its own right. But it was brought to my attention by a user in the comments. Now I apologise for my Scottish here. His name is Kun Slavov. Wicked name, mate. And he basically wrote, I think this is an ancient script called Copy2. I used to use it a lot before 2.8. And he puts a link in the description. I go and check it out. And I noticed this add-on's been updated for 2.8. So let's take a quick look at it. So in traditional fashion, I'll delete the cube. I'll press Shift and A. I'll add in a mesh and we'll do something like a torus. And I'll quickly drop down the segments to something like 12 by 12. I'll tab into edit mode. I'll press 3 to select faces. And what I'll do here is I'll hold Alt and I'll just do a quick loop select. I'll tab back into object mode. And I'll press space to bring up my search menu. Now I've seen a few comments here, I don't have this menu. You can find this in the preference settings. And I'll look for copy to. And you can see that it brings up a dialog in the bottom left. And it says copy from, so we'll just use the light for example. And you can see what it's initially done. It's placed a light in each of the points. Now I don't want points, I want faces, so I'll select faces. And we get this option. Now this is very similar to the plugin that I showed previously, but there's a little bit more control. So we get something like this, pretty damn cool. So let me just quickly start a new scene, and we'll try placing an object on another object. So we have the default cube of mystery, Ooh. and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press Shift and A, and I'm going to add in a cone. Now the main difference between this add-on and the one that I showed previously, is this one actually uses the origin point. So I'll give you an example here. Now in the documentation it says you need to select the source object and you need to select the target object, but I think with version 2.8 there's a slight difference. So what I'm going to do here is I'll select the cube, I'll tab into edit mode, and I'm just going to select this face and this face. I'll tab back into object mode, I'll bring up my menu, and I'll look for copy to again. And this time I'm going to copy from and I'll select the source object, which is a cone. And you can see that it's placed on each point and I'm going to change this to faces. And I'm going to change the axis to the Z axis. Now what you will notice is, it's not actually placed the mesh on the face exactly. It's using the origin point for the cone here. So it's actually intersection, which might be the effect that you're actually looking for. So let me just quickly show you the difference between changing the origin point. I'll quickly undo this. I'll select the cone, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press shift and right click, and I'm going to put the origin right in the base of the cone. I'll come up to object, set origin, and I'll put origin to 3D cursor. So you can see that the origin is now set at the base. I'll then select the cube, I'll tab back into edit mode to make sure my selection is still selected. I'll bring up my menu, copy to, I'll select the cone object, and you can see here, it's now sitting perfectly on the mesh. Well, not perfect, but pretty close. And that's pretty much the main difference between these two add-ons. And they both have a place in your toolkit. Highly recommend you install both of them. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.